Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about crypto fan or trip operan. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So what is operan? That we have discussed in our last lecture when we have talked about lack operan. So basically, an operan is a DNA unit that contains a group of genes that are controlled by a single promoter. So more than one genes are controlled by a single promoter that is only possible in prokaryotes. Eukaryotes do not have such system. And the genes in an operon are either expressed together or not at all expressed. Now today we will discuss about the tryptophan operon that is also found in E. coli bacteria in prokaryotes. And uh, these bacteria also require tryptophan just like us to build proteins. Tryptophan is an amino acid. So they require tryptophan to build their proteins. Now, E. coli can make their own tryptophan using enzymes that are encoded by five genes. These five genes are located next to each other in the trip operon. We will see, we will see the structure of trip operon in a couple of minutes. So basically they can make their own tryptophan and to make the tryptophan they need some enzymes and those enzymes are encoded by five genes which are placed in the trip operon. If tryptophan is present in the environment that is if it is present in their bacterial media then they don't need to synthesize it and the operon remains switched off. But when tryptophan availability is low Suppose tryptophan is absent in the bacterial media. At that time, they require tryptophan uh, to make their proteins. So at that time, the operon is switched on. Now we will see the structure of trip operon. So this is a very simple structure you can see. So this is the promoter. This whole part is the promoter. And we all know that promoter is that means the RNA polymer is binds here RNA polymerase binds to the promoter and uh, the portion of the promoter this portion of the promoter is called the operator so this is basically the binding site for a repressor protein so these two are overlapping right okay and next five structural genes are there tryptophan E D C B and A so these genes can make the mRNA and from the mRNA we will get five proteins. So the genes for the three operon are transcribed as a single mRNA. So you can see that these five genes are transcribed uh, in a single mRNA. So here we have the single mRNA and from that single mRNA five different proteins will be made which proteins are basically enzymes five different enzymes which will help to synthesize tryptophan okay now when tryptophan is present in the environment suppose the bacterial media has tryptophan that time the tryptophan this is the tryptophan that time this tryptophan uh, it binds to the repressor so here we have the trip repressor this is the trip repressor it is bound by the tryptophan and this trip repressor it is binding to the operator site since we know that operator site is bound by the repressor so when it is uh, binding this operator site the rna polymerase is unable to bind here right so at that time there would be no transcription of these five genes. So when tryptophan is present in the environment, trip repressor binds to the operator site and blocks the transcription. And tryptophan activates this repressor, hence is called a co-repressor. We have seen here that the tryptophan is binding the tryptophan repressor and making it 
active and the activated tryptophan repressor is binding this operator site so the tryptophan is also called as co-repressor so this is the scenario when there is enough tryptophan in the environment so the bacteria doesn't need to produce tryptophan anymore and the system is shut down next when the tryptophan availability is low that means the tryptophan is not present or it is uh, very low in the environment in the bacterial media at that time the trip operon should be switched on right so at that time the tryptophan repressor is inactive why it is inactive because no tryptophan is available to bind to and activate it there is no tryptophan so who will activate this tryptophan repressor so it will be like uh, inactivated it will be in the inactivated state so it does not attach to the operator site and once it is uh, not binding this operator site the operator site is free the promoter site is free the rna polymerase binds this site and once it is binding the site the transcription will go on so these five genes will be transcribed and we will get the proteins which are actually enzymes which will make tryptophan in the bacterial system now apart from this system uh, bacteria has one more mechanism uh, to switch on tryptophan so that is the attenuation system so attenuation system uh, we will talk about it in the next lecture okay so i hope you liked the lecture this is all about today's lecture and thank you for watching my video